the first episode of Vlogmas 2022. I have just sat down and planned out my day. It's going to be a very chilled day today. I have my sewing group later. I've got an order to make. An order came in yesterday and I think it's probably like one of my biggest orders that I've ever had. It was for two Christmas cushion covers and a gift set which I just I couldn't believe it like I literally screamed <laughs> I'm, I'm so ridiculously grateful I just I can't believe it yeah there are postal strikes this week so I'm just gonna get it made today and then it'll be I'll get it sent off after the postal strikes I have been working on my honey clutch yeah um this morning I always this is my kind of morning knitting project at the moment just because a repeat is like the perfect amount of knitting time this is how far we've got it's looking so so lovely I'm really happy with it I'm using the leftover yarn from when I made my Friday slipover so this is so soft I'm really happy with how that's going and I really really enjoy doing the stitch pattern so I've been really enjoying working on that in the mornings anyway I am actually going to get on with the day now I as you can probably tell I really need to wash my hair <laughs> and um, get ready for the day. just um packed up all my orders and i've gone to print the postage label it's just not doing anything it's just sat here seeing preparing six labels for printing and i've only printed one and i've checked back in like five minutes and it's still doing this and i don't know what these six labels are and i don't know what it's doing so i don't know what to do maybe I'm just gonna go and hoover and then we'll come back and see if it's got itself together. I just wanna get these orders done. So I looked up the problem that I was having and other people on Etsy had experienced this problem before. So I was like, okay, well, hopefully it'll sort itself out then, but that does mean that I can't get my orders sent off today, which is a bit annoying. 
because of the real mail postal strikes, but there's not much I can do. <laughs> I'm having a bit of a um, anxious day today. And my brain is just like not being very helpful. I'm going to sit here and do a couple of rows on my Sophie shawl. This is where we've got to. Since the podcast, we've um, made quite a lot of progress. But we're nowhere near halfway. But I really do love this. But I'm really happy that I got the orders made and everything is packed. So, we did good. <laughs> Tuesday. I just got home from work, had lunch, and it's freezing, hence why I'm in a dressing gown. Hope you don't mind. And I'm now going to see if Etsy is playing ball so I can get my my orders out. And I think we have success. been waiting to open this package. I'm so excited. This is my one of my favourite quotes. Shoot for the moon and if you miss you'll fall upon the stars. I just love that so much. Are you ready? I'm not ready. Need I say any more? Oh my gosh, how cute is that? It's from Coco Natasha. If you haven't heard of them before, they are a really, really lovely small business who do a lot of like stationery and little bits like that. And she came out with these sweatshirts and she first came out of it in sage green, which is like one of my favourite colours right now. And then she came out with it in this dusky pink and I was like, okay. <laughs> so I decided to um, get it for myself as a little treat from the business <laughs> um, to say well done. I got it in a large because I wanted it to be like super oversized and comfy. Oh, this is so cute. Yay. And it's like massive and long and. I'll leave a link down below. I believe they're still available. I am going to sit and knit for um, the rest of the afternoon. I just need to chill so I can actually be productive the rest of the week. <laughs>
of hear noise in the background <laughs> and if you notice any ceilings or walls that look like that I just wanted to show you my progress on my Abiodos top I'm making another one of these um, for a gift this afternoon I have like split these for the armholes, done all this back fit and front and we are now joined in the round so we are just round and round. Stocking it for the, free, the foreseeable future. <laughs> but we had a major casualty with this. So like this time last week I had just done my last uh, tuck round of the yoke was ready to split the sleeves or well, not sleeves you know what I mean I pulled it out of my knitting bag and it looked like this <laughs> can you see that that massive hole in the mohair section basically my dog love him he managed to pull this out of my knitting bag which was fully like drawstringed up on a table and managed to destroy it so i had to rip the whole yoke out go all the way back to the beginning because he'd ruin the top two sections of mohair mohair not the bottom ones and I had to redo so anyway I'm very happy we are now back to where we were but these things happen and now ever since this project has literally not left my side if I leave the room it leaves with me <laughs> hello <laughs> I literally haven't filmed anything today because Mum and I went to Pista Village and we just like spent the day together. It was really really lovely day. Um if you don't know Pista Village is like a designer outlet shopping place centre not a centre, it's just it is a village. That is literally what it is. It makes it feel so like Christmassy as well. So it was like the first first thing that it was the perfect thing to do on the 1st of December but it's the 1st of December so that means it's time to open advents this year I've got a yarn advent calendar from uh, Giddy Yarns so I've never had a yarn advent calendar before so I'm really excited <laughs> Yeah, so 2022 charity collaboration advent calendar. Oh my gosh, it says they were able to raise £1,250, which was spread across three charities, Shelter, Action for Children and Reengage. Ooh, the theme this year is sweet treats. I'm so excited. This, I've just realised. Whoa! Excuse me. Are you okay there? Boy, you might have been involved in every single thing. Right, let's find number one. I am so excited. They're, oh, sorry, I didn't show you. They're all like individually wrapped. How cute is this? Oh. Should we open it? Oh my gosh, these get me every time. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Okay. This one is from Weekyon. Weeki? I've never heard of them before. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. Look. There we go look at that it's beautiful like pinks which if you don't know 
my favorite color is pink that's what i couldn't remember if they were 10 gram minis or 25 gram minis they're 10 gram 42 meters i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with my advent calendar yet i i don't think i'm gonna mix it up during advent because if i knew it was going to be like a fade set i definitely would but as obviously these are all from different dyes they're probably not gonna really do that if you get what i mean so i'm gonna get them all and then decide what i'm gonna do with them but i'm thinking of making like a shawl or like a little blanket or something i'm not quite sure yet but i need to just see how much i have at the end and then decide but i'm so excited i can't believe i get to open up yarn like every other day that was day one because of how i'm doing vlogmas you will get um me opening um an advent calendar in every single episode so that is exciting for you <laughs> so sorry i literally barely filmed anything yesterday but luckily i had filmed some bits uh, earlier on in the week which you uh, would have seen i have just got a little bit more editing to do on this video and then it will be all ready to go up tonight so i just wanted to quickly say thank you so so much for watching i really hope you have enjoyed i have been umming and ahhing whether to do vlogmas and I decided to go for it. I'm not going to do Vlogmas every single day. I'm going to be uploading three vlogs a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And that just seems really manageable for me right now because I don't want to overwhelm myself. I also do not have an interesting enough life to be able to make a video every single day. You would all get bored. <laughs> yeah, but I really hope you have enjoyed the first episode. Um, I have really enjoyed filming it. I'm so excited. If you don't already know, Christmas is my favourite time of year. I feel the most myself this time of year and it just brings me a lot of joy. So I'm just so excited to be sharing it with you all. The next vlog should be a little bit of Christmas decorating, which I am so excited about. So look forward to that and I will see you on Monday for the next episode of Vlogmas. Bye!